Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Call me like a cherry pony. Call me like a cherry pony. Your boy done switched up on you. Call me like a cherry pony. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, run your tail over there and subscribe for me. And then after you subscribe, make sure that you hit that notification bell. It's right beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then guess what? Welcome to this great, 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 great family. Now that you're part of there's some things that we do, and we do them every single day because they help us grow. Those things are comment, comment, comment like a share and go for the team. Come in like a share and don't pick for the team. Come in like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't get to come like a share. Okay, guys, check out. We're gonna pray. We're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey man, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? Over here. The beers in the building, y'all. They go, they go. Little bean has nothing in him but nice cold H2O. Also, here, some of y'all, I got some hot, my lips hot sauce. If you like your bottle, look way up in the top of the screen box in blue. Hit that link and right there you get your lips hot sauce. And your lips merch. Okay, you got today for the food, baby. We got some fried yard pimp, some fried chicken wings. We got us some meatloaf, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Some macaroni and cheese and some spinach and some corn bread. I got some white onions over here to the side. Let me get me some of them up there. And y'all, I'm ready. Let's get to eat. Let's go. Mm-hmm. This homemade corn to bread. It is. Hold up. Mm-hmm. 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 Sorry. Y'all didn't get the first bite today. Mm-hmm. Y'all need cornbread with spinach, onions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yo. Your boy is hungry. Like I'm hungry. For real. <clears throat> Mmm, I'm hungry. I really am. Mmm, let me tell you something. When you are preparing a meal that you really want to eat, baby, by the time you get through, baby, you is hungry. Mm-hmm, y'all want some mac and cheese? Y'all want to buy the mac and cheese? I can't get it up there, y'all. It's shell, so I can't just like punch down in it. Sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Mac and cheese. Mmm. 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 Y'all. Mmm. 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 Let me slow down. Let me slow down. And calm my nerves. Because y'all. Mmm. I'll be gonna hurt myself. For real. Mmm. Hmm. Perfect. Perfect. We got yard pimp. Yeah. Yard pimp. Y'all put some hot sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Y'all some hot sauce on it. Mmm. I got a little bit over here. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Mmm. Hmm. Ooh. Woo! Hot! Ooh, that's hot. Y'all, that's hot. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm! 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 Let's do it. Y'all, let's do it. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. 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 Y'all. I don't know what you're eating today. But, baby. This right here, fire. Fire. Mmm. 
Yeah. Lil Benny got nothing him a nice song, H2O, honey. Mm-hmm. Nice song, H2O. Let's get some of this loaf. Mm. Yes, sir. Let's get us some of this meat loaf, honey. Mm-hmm. That she blow. Look at him. Hey, 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 hey. She hot, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yo! Mm -mm -mm. Baby, baby, baby. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Baby, 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 baby. Mm. That's good. Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, how are y'all doing today? Mm-hmm. How y'all doing? When I tell you, mm, I, I dropped my uh, wing tip, y'all. Mm, I'm mad about that. Anyway, when I tell you, y'all, that we have got um, at least four, one, two, well, three. We're working on the fourth one, but we got three downright. Southern mm, soul food, smack your mama and tell your grandma ain't none left meals this week. Baby, we got some meals planned this week, baby. Mm, yes, we do. This spin is busting. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, it's no denying. It's just no denying. That good food is love language to the heart. Mmm, mmm. I just said, ain't no denying it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. However, it does take away from, mmm, mmm, the conversation that I want to have today. Y'all, I saw, and I'm not going to go through. What it was, where it was, and all that. I'm not gonna go through that because the general consensus of what I'm gonna say applies to everywhere and everything and everybody that is a part of the African American community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today I'm talking for us to us. Mm -hmm. mm. I ran across. A situation that happened where mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. where a young black man, 24 years old, mm -mm -mm -mm. did y'all hear that crunch? Anyway, 24 years old. Mm, 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 mm. Was lost his life. Who said pick this up before he get it right here? Mm. Mm. Right here. Put on foot. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Um, a young black man lost his life over a, a woman. The young lady, or the young female, because I wouldn't call this type of behavior the behavior of a lady, anyway. Hmm. My bad, y'all. That's all right. But the female, oh, was mingling in between these two men. And was engaged to one, the one that lost his life. Um, engaged to one man, mm. messing around with another. Good to get back. Bye. Um, the young man that she was engaged to went on a trip with his family. Mm. 
It was done for like, I think five, six days. Mm -hmm. On a cruise. Came back home and found used and unused rubbers. Probolastics, uh huh. In his home that they shared. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He didn't say anything. Although he knew what time it was. He waited to get more information. Um you see what was going on, even though he already knew that she was not being faithful. Finally did catch up with the two together. He did. And hmm. He lost his life. Stabbed to death. Mm-hmm. He was stabbed something like 16, 17 times. Um Y'all This is what I'm gonna say. This is what I really wanna say. Somebody else mm, another race was to do something like that to us, we'd be marching. All the big heavy hitters, heavy hitter, um, Black Lives Matter and, um, you know, racial equality leaders, you know. Hmm. Everybody would be an outrage. And they would. It'd be all over here that I knew. It'd be everywhere. But when we do this to ourselves, when nobody has anything to say. I don't get it. If black lives matter, they matter no matter who taking them. Y'all, life is a precious thing. It is. Because while you're here and you're living, that's the only time you have to invest yourself and get closer to God and make your way to heaven. Life is a precious thing. And it just, it just, y'all know the piece of me low. Hmm. It just gets next to me. Mmm. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. When I read these type of stories, and they're vicious, but they didn't make head on you. It's just something that happened. It's just something that happened. And this happened in one of our large, large black cities. Mm hmm. Why not of the news? I mean, I don't get it. It's still a uh, black life that's been lost viciously. Mm. But we're not marching. We're not bringing attention to this. I'm pondering in my mind, what is the difference? Do black lives only matter when it's another race that's doing something to us? Why is it that as an African-American culture, as an African-American race, we all are kings and queens. We all came from royalty. Period. We all came from royalty. I mean, we're all kings and queens, all of us. We're all sisters and brothers. We're all family. My thing is, and by no means am I trying to give anybody any race or anybody. Because to me, it's not about race. But what I'm saying is, we will waste countless amount of time. We will do marches in every city. If, excuse me, y'all, another race does something vicious 
toward one of us. But what about what we do to ourselves? Have you ever stopped to think about that? I want to say this. A lot of people, when things happen and like, just say for instance, like George Floyd, other things that have went on, where things were so tense and sensitive that if we, one of us, African American, if we were to say Black Lives Matter, and if somebody was to come back and say All Lives Matter, we'd be hot. We'd be hot. Baby, we'll run you down a dissertation. They'll tell you how for the last four, five hundred years, wherever it is, or that this country has been born, how our people have been oppressed and done this way and done this way and done this way and did this and did that. But what about what we do to ourselves? I think that's the point of people um, pushing back at Black Lives Matter to say all lives matter. Because what about what we do to ourselves? I think that's what they mean. All lives matter. And they do. All of us are God's children. So all of them do matter. Mm. It's just poison to me. How this young man totally in the blind. Is it these things were going on with his the girl that he loved, the woman he's been married, and ends up riding up on them together and loses his life viciously? Do you know how much rage, anger, did it take to stab somebody to death? Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. I couldn't imagine. I promise you, I couldn't. I could not imagine taking a knife. And sticking it into someone's flesh. Deep enough, hard enough, or enough time to take someone's life. <gasps> I don't get it. But it ain't for me to get. That's not the role that God intended for me to play in this world. Okay? But what I do know is there's another senseless life, another life that has senselessly been taken. Of a foolishness. You know, if you don't want somebody, if you ain't happy with them, why not just leave? You know what I mean? If you're unhappy with them enough that you are being unfaithful to them, why are you engaged to them? Why are you going to marry them if you're already unhappy with them? You know what I mean? I think in cases like this, and this is just my honest God opinion, I feel like that that female should be here responsible too. I really do. If I was the lawmaker, if you done something like this, right? Because it was a direct cause of what she done or what she was doing. That the reason why this young man lost his life, it was. It's a direct result of her actions that caused this young man to be dead. I think she should be charged with manslaughter. I can't charge with murder because she didn't actually do the act. But I think she should be charged with manslaughter or something because it's her actions that caused this young man to lose his life. But the point of the matter is to me is that why is it that when other people do something to us, baby, it's on. You can't stop us. We can't be stopped. We shut down highways and bridges and uh, disrupt the flow of traffic and all kind of stuff. But what about when we do it to ourselves? Is there still not the anger for the loss of life? No, if there's still not just as much pain that's caused to that young man's family and like his community, you know, his children, 
Um, is it not just as much pain? Is the family not going to have to go through just as much suffering? So what is the difference? I've always said, y'all, stay woke. Stay woke. Because this world that we're in is not about race. It's not about that. It's about God. And God ain't going to see it no different. He ain't going to see it no different whether it's black on black or white on black or Chinese on black or whatever. Doesn't matter. God going to see it the same. Somebody took the life of one of his children. Well, don't get me wrong. I think Black Lives Matter. I think our high profile uh, civil rights leaders and stuff are definitely necessary. Definitely. I think they're definitely necessary. <laughs> But I think as a culture, as a people, as a whole, we need to step back and think about what we do to ourselves. <laughs> what do we do to ourselves? It's just as many of us taking our own lives as the police are. It's just as many of us taking our own lives as other races. What is the difference, y'all? These are the type of things that I think we as a people should put in our heads, put it deep down in our minds and definitely to our core, in our soul, that we have a responsibility to teach the next generation to do better by, by us. You know what I'm saying? We got to teach the next generation to do better by us. We really do. Mmm. Mmm. My bad, y'all. I know this is going to make some of y'all hot. But it still needs to be said. You know? I've always been a believer in friend, family, foe. I'm only going to let you treat me the way I want to let you treat me. That's it. That's all. And Sometimes you're in situations to where the only way of teaching a person how to treat you is to treat them the same way. Sometimes you can't talk to a person and get them to tell <laughs> Gucci, get on my way here. Sometimes you cannot talk to a person and get them to understand how you want to be treated. The best way to do it is to treat them how you want to be treated. Ain't that what the Bible says? The Bible said, treat the least of me. Hey! You know what I mean? Um, I know all things are predetermined. I know that. But I just think it's something that we ought to think about as a community, y'all. You know, how do we treat each other? For real. Um, I know, like I said, me and my husband have been together for the better of 20 years. And, um, most of the time, God is my witness. 85% <coughs> of uh, get off that table, Gucci. Get down. Get down, boy. Get down. Um, sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. My family moving around. Everything is going on. My bad. But 85% of the homophobia, the um, gay bashing, the da 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 woo doo doo woo, the harm that has been done to us in our minds and the way that people treated us um, came from our own kind. It did. It had. It came from our own kind. It came from us. You know what I mean? I just want you all to realize us in the black community, us in the African-American community, us in the whatever you want to call yourself, the dark community. Okay? I just want you to step back and think about how do we treat each other? How do we treat each other? How do we treat each other? The other day we went to the park and met a beautiful family, a lady. How she said she was a baby? 
The lady, 68, 68 years old, y'all, looked like she was about 45. 68 years old, and her daughter was 41 or 42, and looked like she was about 22. Um, we are a gifted race. We are. When we age and get older, we don't, we, uh, we don't age like other people. We don't. We age well. We look good throughout our years. But why can't, we, with, with the gifts that God has given us ourselves, why can't we just treat each other right? Why can't we just treat each other better? It was really, really, um, uh, my heart was open uh, to these people. We sat there, the day that I did the live mukbang at the park, and this lady, she was from California, six, eight years old, beautiful lady, in shape, you know, and uh, we were just sitting there talking, and um, she was just the sweetest lady, and uh, Pusain and my husband and Gucci were going away while I started talking to them, and when they came back, she was just so excited, and she was like, oh, you guys have a beautiful family, and I, matter of fact, she said, oh, me and my husband have blue, oh, I love his hair, it's so pretty, I was like, thank you, and then Pustain came out from behind, and she said, oh, I love her hair, I didn't know it was your family, it's so pretty, thank you, I said, thank you, uh, then Gucci ran up there when he got the he coach. She said, oh, his hair is so floppy and free, I love his hair, and thank you, I said, thank you, then I said to myself, I said, for a second, I thought about it, I said, well, what about my hair? <laughs> anyway, y'all. But it just warmed my heart how sometimes you can meet people that don't even know you that will treat you with kindness, treat you with love, treat you with respect. You know what I mean? And then you come across other people that just treat you like dirt just because of the fact that you happy and in love and, 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 and love God and moving on with your life. You ain't doing nothing to them, but they just hate you and just want to just crucify you just because you're you. I'm talking about what we do to us, y'all. Think about what I've said, because I'm sure I'm going to go and fool. Y'all see I'm rocking back and forth, my stomach full and everything. But I um, hope you all enjoyed the meal. But think about what I said. We all are kings and queens. We all spawn from royalty. All of us did. You know what I mean? God created us all in his image. Royal. All of us. But think about what I said, though. Why is it that we shut down cities and ride and, and march and everything is all well and good and we're doing all of this when another race do something to us? All the celebrities and da-da-da-da and like I said, everybody out and present when somebody else do something to us. But what about when we do it to ourselves? Now I'm gonna go. I love you guys so, so much. I truly, truly do. I love you, every one of you guys. I truly, truly do. I love you. I love you. I love you. So I'm my newly dead. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one because you've to be here. You could have chosen to be anywhere else in the world, but you chose to be right here with us, so we love you for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm my distant DJ. Round and round we go, eh? Round and round we go. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you guys next time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys look. Oh, and remember that there's always more than one way home. All you still have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're ready to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> bye. Bye. I'm out. Bye.